Find the general solution to the differential equation y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals e to the negative t. And we are going to solve this via variation of parameters. So as always, you need to use your homogeneous solution where you set the left hand side equal to zero. And from there, we can form our auxiliary or characteristic equation where the power of r is equal to the amount of derivatives being taken on y. So y double prime is r squared and you keep the coefficients the same, plus one equals zero. And factoring that out, you have r plus one squared equals zero, since one plus one is two, and one times one is one. So you have a repeated solution of r one equaling negative one, and r two equaling negative one as well. This is important because we use it to find our homogeneous solution, c one e, to the negative t plus c2 times t since it's repeated e to the negative t as well. Now we need these two terms here to find our particular solution where we call y1 e to the negative t and y2 t e to the negative t since y particular equals v1 y1 plus v2 y2. We will be using the Ronskin approach. So v1 equals the negative integral of y2 f of t over Ronskin dt, where f of t is the right hand side. v2 on the other hand equals integral of y1 f of t over Ronskin dt. You just have to memorize these two formulas. As for Ronskin, we use this in linear algebra to find out if two functions are linearly independent or not. So y1 y2 and y1 prime y2 prime where we can, I'll move it over here, use the determinant, Ronskin equals y1, y2 prime, minus y1 prime, y2. So we know that y1 from up here in our homogeneous solution equals e to the negative t, and y2 equals t e to the negative t. y1 prime is negative e to the negative t, since you bring out the coefficient to the front, and y2 prime using product rule f prime g plus f g prime where f is t and g is e to the negative t so f prime is 1 and we just leave the g by itself plus t or f g prime e to the negative t and we change this plus to be a minus so Ronskin now equals y1 e to the negative t y2 prime e to the negative t minus t e to the negative t minus y1 prime negative e to negative t times y2 t e to negative t usually something cancels out so distributing that's e to negative 2t minus t e to negative 2t plus t e to negative 2t and for us it does so Ronskin simply equals e to negative 2t so looking back at v1 that equals negative integral of y2 t e to the negative t times f of t e negative t over Ronskin e negative 2t dt. And you can see here that all the e terms cancel out since the numerator turns into e to the negative 2t over denominator e to the negative 2t. So we're left with the integral or the negative integral of t dt. So we know that v1 equals negative 1 half t squared. As for v2, that's the positive integral of y1, e to the negative t, times e to the negative t, over e to the negative 2t dt. And same thing goes for there, except now we're not even left with a t term. All we have is just the integral of dt. Thus, v2 equals t. And finally, for our y particular, v1 y1 plus v2 y2 turns into negative one half t squared for v1 y1 plus v2 y2. Let's see if we can do any simplification. So this turns into negative one half t squared e to the negative t plus t squared e to the negative t. There is a little bit of simplification here. That's just saying one of these t squared e to the negative t terms minus a half of itself becomes one half of itself.
and that is our particular solution. And we know that y general equals y homogeneous plus y particular, which from back up here, I'll start it. That's c1 e to negative t plus e2 t e to negative t plus our particular solution, one half t squared e to negative t. And that's our solution to this problem. I hope that made sense. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.